we're finally like, okay, this weapon's great. I'm going to start using it. Uh, we just had Akno do really well, but something that Foda highlighted that I'll highlight again is that Impala has been on Kaya long before she's become a flavor of the month kind of character. Right, pick, right? right. He's really having a lot of success with it, being here in this top eight in the Autumn Championship, last official tournament for BCX, and they're going into Brawl Haven for game number one. Uh, with Radish on that Petra, which we all know and love. Yeah, Radish already starting Ooh. off. Okay, the Weapon Toss would have been clean, but it doesn't Ooh. matter. He still cleans it up super quickly. The Weapon Toss kind of forcing a weird recovery, and then he was able to uh, snipe that super quick with the D-Light uh, ground pound. Look at the, the lead that he has already, barely Ooh. even getting hit. Yeah, and using that side sig while Impala's on a fresh stock, just putting on that damage, goes for the silent recovery, doesn't get anything with it, and Impala finally starts something with the spear. Side lights, some nares, some good neutral lights, but Radish just catches Impala in the middle of the air, and he doesn't get anything else off of it, but it's still a good win nonetheless. Eh? Very let's, close. Let's see if Impala can bring this back. Yeah, I mean, Impala definitely has the... the character and the weapons to play like kind of the more slow and steady like let me trying to sit back and punish but if Radish never gives you a chance to punish because he's always overextending or, or, or you know yeah. you know he, you can't really whip punish someone who's right next to you the entire time so well, and even actually in that the case hits. he went for that down signature there and Impala tried to punish with a side stick okay that was sick that, that was that actually super smart got too, so low off the stage and then still went for like a, a jump down air but he canceled the momentum of that jump right away by buffering that there spikes Radish with that perfect space and brings it to a 2 2 situation. It's now also nice to just know that Radish was going out because I mean, Radish did have to touch that wall and he, he probably could have tried to just ground pound immediately, but uh, he saw how late he was getting down there, so he's like, all right, Radish is going to jump out. I'm already here. Radish getting another stock though before taking uh, barely any type of damage, you know, in that very, very light yellow. Yeah, that was, leads since the beginning. There's that signature that you were talking about. We, Radish is like one of the few Petras, if not the only Petra, that loves using Downsig as an edge guard tool. And it puts so much pressure onto his opponents. The only player today that we even saw have an answer to it was Pugsy. I don't and know why you wouldn't do that more often. Though. That move, it, it feels like it's set up to do that. Like <laughs> <laughs> It is set up to do that. And I, I feel like... Um, I guess it just depends on how successful your first tournament run with, mm -hmm. was when doing it. Like, if you got punished all the time, you're like, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. <laughs> but Radish was kind of like, I got four I got four knockouts. I'll just keep going. And Impala, after it happened, even though the downside didn't hit, because Impala recovered high, mm -hmm. that's where he got the sideline there. And it looks like it's going to be happening here again if he's not careful. Good nair. But that was Impala, actually a great nair, yeah. So damaged. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, even if he is able to get Ooh. through this nice little turnaround right there with the pogo, but look, I mean, you're literally one sig away anywhere on this stage at this point in time. You know, Radish yeah. playing a very, very high force champion. You, you have, you know, pretty decent defense here on uh, Nakaya, uh, Kaya, but I mean, this is like eight force almost, I think, on, uh, on The only thing I can hope Petra. for for Impala here is like, I, I mean, technically you, you lose your stock to a bow ground pound right now. Right. <laughs> That's the only on the stage. But sidelights there, no matter how high that defense for Kaya is going to secure the win for Radish game one. And that was pretty dominant for Radish. Yeah. They're going to get right, right back into it. I mean, no swaps. Though. We got off that character select screen immediately. Back right to Small Brawl Haven, too. No waste of time. Yeah, you got the eight force right here. You got a, uh, you know, seven defense, which is still good. But I mean, eight Petra just hits so hard, and she's so fast. Yeah, yeah, Petra's fantastic. And on Brawl Haven, uh, you kind of negate any benefits that you get from that defense. Uh, so we're going right sure. back to it in game number two. Impala opening up the spear right away. D-Light side or Nair is going to attack on some good damage. And I noticed this in the last set that I watched with Impala on the winner's side was that when it came to the back and forth of the games, if Impala is able to get first weapon and it ends up being that spear, damage can go into his favor pretty pretty early on. And yeah. uh, that match against Pierre, they were they were exchanging two stocks back and forth. So let's see if he can have that same level of adaptability going up against Radish. I didn't think about the fact that, like, yeah, on this small stage that, like, yeah, if your, your defensive... Uh, uh, you know, stat definitely gets kind of diminished on its uh, power. However, uh, you know, Kaya not really having the highest force, but the blast zones being so much closer does make it a little easier for her. So it's like a double-edged sword. As long as he is doing well, it should work out for him. He's doing quite well here at the beginning of this game. It only does, in the I guess when you put it that way, it boils down to whoever's signatures hit are going to knock you out. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's not... Uh, you leave in the playing field. Like, we're all 5-5 five, five now. Like, that's <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep, that, that's exactly it. And that ground pound from Radish even six up. Oh, oh, another ground pound comes through. Tried to catch a high recovery with that Sare, and Impala narrowly avoiding uh, the side sig from Radish. Means he gets back to stage against the weapon, but it's super close now. Radish chasing him down. I mean... Throwing out a lot of moves right here to try to uh, get these hits, but Impala not really getting any type of whiff punishes. Now finally, finally starting to get some damage. There's a whiff punish. Ooh. Yeah, right, one. Right back. 
Oh, but then Raidus gets like two in exchange for it, right? Yeah. Like Impala's getting Ace Air. All right, Neutralite's covering the landings. Okay, the Siders are coming through, and this time Raidus isn't fighting back. And that, a Raidus Classic going for that neutral signature there, but Impala didn't want to risk going off stage against the Orb. And the down sig dodged up through it and with the Nair to punish. I mean, that's got that. Genuinely, I mean, as slow moving as that projectile is, and you know how if you mess up your dodge timing, you still get hit by the tail in it. And really good dodge right there from Impala. Yeah. Also, you know, going to get that stock as well. Got to, uh, you know, got to feel good about that. Get himself a lead. So going back to Bra Small Brawl Haven, he obviously was like, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't the the stage. It was me, and he's yeah. definitely figured some stuff out. Yeah. And if both these players like think that way and mm -hmm. feel that way, we're probably on Brawl Haven even if it goes all the way to game five. Okay. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. they're both going to be like, ah, oh, no, the stage doesn't matter there. He just outplayed me. And the downer comes through and Radish outplays Impala on that edge guard, bringing it back to 1-1. One -one. Uh, Radish at that, uh, for the set, is up a game. Could bring this to match point if he's able to come back with the orb here. But Impala decides to scrap on arm and get some good damage in himself. Nice Ooh. delight into side air. And Radish, low on the stage, no dodge. Impala goes for it this time. Does he pay for oh, it? Oh, he paid for that dearly. Oh, oh, oh my, a six piece. Oh. And he, if he was, if he got hit by that, would have been the greatest end to this game. Radish really capitalized as much as he could off of one read. Almost getting the stock right there with the Hadouken, but nope, not going to be enough. Tries the second time. That's oh. going to be it, though. Satellite Slayer, that the defense does actually come it into helps. play. It helps. <laughs> just <laughs> once, though. Oh, he's just side sticking over and over again. Side right, side air. Not this time, Impala. I can't believe it. TK, we, we saw. Radish do that gravity cancel neutral sick thing, and I was like, ah, oh, Impala didn't go out there even though his dodge was gone. And then Impala goes out there and he gets hit like seven times. Man, I mean, what a, that was a beautiful stock turnaround right there, man. And managed to take this game uh, pretty easily as well at the end. Off of everything that happened on the left side, it was like a six piece combo that almost ended at the top <laughs> with a neutral sig. Yeah. But yeah, he still put so much damage up. I think that just kind of put I like uh, popped notice. off to the possibility of the yeah. sig hitting. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, you have to go for it. That would have been so crazy. Um, and that entire time, you can see like on the damage graph, the flat line there from Radish where mm -hmm. he was behind. He goes down to the side of the stage, loses that dodge, and then the rest of the stock is just Impala going from low damage Three, to losing it. Two, and Radish has now one, brought it to match point, two to zero. And we're back to Brawlhaven for game number three. And Paula's got a reverse 3-0 if he wants to stay in this bracket. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, too, to see, like, the, the damage difference or what Raiders did right there. This is all orb. But, like, his gauntlets are just as nice. It's, I think it just really depends on, like, do I need to switch gears right now, uh, right now or not? The orb is doing every, like doing amazingly for him in this matchup against Impala right now. Yeah, the, and, and that's a, it's good to note that because I was wondering if it was matchup dependent, but it may just be that Radish is really focusing on the orb for this event because even in sets before this, we'd see damage splits of like 450 for orb and 50 for gauntlets. Mm -hmm. That's just how he's been favoring things. And Impala, Impala, can you even make it back from here? Uh-oh, the wall slip's starting to set I don't, in. Can, oh, he's holding on, he's sweating. What? Oh. I'm is actually it? surprised that he can't make it down right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just trying to figure out what's going on there. <laughs> Ground found hits. And it's just like, right. I feel like both players were like, what's going on? Raiders just standing at the top. Pathetic. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't climb this mountain, then you must perish. And like, I know. He, he's taking it to the next doc. <laughs> <laughs> just, all right. Impala finally gets... Uh, Get something on the board, but uh, Radish is trying to go down for another one of those recoveries and he continuing to attack on the damage. Weapon throw comes forward, neutral light hits, and that ground pound almost takes another stock. I, I think that might have been the first time I've ever seen full wall slip. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, you, you've got that one jump coming through and you're sweating the entire way through. <laughs> can't <laughs> dodge, can't do anything. <laughs> Someone please help me. No, we're good. All right, so Radish, I mean, after that first stock, yeah, he did carry that momentum directly to the second, and now Impala. Last stock potentially of the tournament for them. I have to make something crazy happen because Radish has definitely been on fire the entirety of this uh, set, really. I loved how he mixed in that downlight to that combo. Went for the neutral sig and Paula dodged in, but Radish is on the verge of a three stock here. Sidelight Sayer puts it the gravity cancel down sig, forces and Paula low, and Radish touches, gets his jumps back, and avoids the weapon throw. Like that, yeah. Radish also getting his weapon back as well. He's going to finally throw it away this time. Onto the gauntlets again. Another situation where I'm sure, I don't even think he's got a gauntlet hit outside of the ground pound, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just went right back to the orb. He, he's trying to. Okay, there we go. There's the Sarah. Oh, chases Impala down, avoids the weapon throw, and covers his head with the Nair. Oh, he's, nice. he's making this three stock happen, TK. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, that's it. it. There it is. Yep. 
no wasted time. The wall slip, uh, you know, the embarrassing wall slip there at the beginning to the ground pound until immediately <laughs> getting here. From here on, Ray's just like, are you serious? <laughs> what is going on here? Ground pounds. <laughs> Boom. We had to really make sure that we knew. <laughs> Need to, it's got to be the best emote sound effect. There, there there, yeah. <laughs> there needs to be another. Every every legend needs another face for when they're wall slipping. That makes them look very nervous. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yeah, seeing Kaya smile during all that. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like, what are you happy about? It's like you're, you're just imminent doom right here for you. But oh, she's like, man. yeah, I'm, you know, I'm going to take, out take the KO face that comes at the top whenever you get those knockouts and put it on the legend. You know, that's a great suggestion. But going forward, Radish is crushing the elimination bracket. And yeah. is it